Now, what do we got today? It's a Hikvision indoor station or an intercom monitor simply of the generation 2, 2019 launch and the manufacturing year and a Hikvision outdoor station, well, or a call panel. Well, they're lying on our table today waiting to be reviewed and connected, then activated and tied up within themselves when all the system parts are united again within the, themselves. And also quite recently we've added a similar video featuring a Dahua monitor and Dahua call panel. So you can go check it out and compare which one is better for you. The link to that video will appear right there. Meantime, Daniel here, the People Systems Store, breaking in. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. Mm, we have already reviewed a red dot version of versions of this, and uh, if you have followed our feed and seen a previous Equation Monitors video, you will notice this one is not that classy as its brothers are. But be sure, quite slight functionality it has is the same as again this its red dot awarded brothers have. Well, except the box contents, we will unreview the system we have and what's most important, show you how to activate this in this, the outdoor station, call panel, monitor, and then unite them into a single operating system. So according to this video, you can duplicate my lead and get the same results on your own or simply to see what to expect from this type of equipment. And if you really like what you see and consider getting this, this or any surveillance equipment out there, consider going to our website in the Google System Store. We got every security thing you might have ever thought of within many bonuses for our subscribers. Now, what do we got inside of the box? Let's see, opening up, oh, of course always but here is it the thing we all came here today for and let's peel this off oh i love the sound yeah um i'm not sure if this is a plastic or this is a glass i don't know to me it looks like a plastic but all pretty good and the whole plastic backside of course here's the contact units again power and other stuff but here is it the main component and of course we got an addition here which is a metal bracket to hang it on to hang this thing on the wall it'll be something like this and to do like any vertical sub surface probably also what do we have here this is a quick start guide installation guide and a quick user guide All right this is a power connector this is the alarm inputs outputs ara air RS 485 and a few screws and it's probably it. Now the specifications. The specifications list is as follows. The 7 inch 1024 by 600 touchscreen, the microphone here and a loudspeaker here. On the back we got the LEN cable input in here, the PoE type consumption within it and here's a separate 20 volt power supply. The back port over here, these are the alarm inputs for various sensors you can get, for the elevator, for the smart locks and stuff. And here's a micro HD port. The working temperatures are from minus 10 Celsius to plus 55 and 14 Fahrenheit to 131 Fahrenheit. We are able to connect here a camera, skull panels, alarm sensors and different extensions to be tied up with. Now let's run through the interface of this thing. So this is a Hikvision modified Linux OS. Now let's see what we got here. These are the buttons, <laughs> of course, the sensor buttons. Uh, on off button, time, date, uh, room numbers you have. Of course, here you can call any connected device within a number inside of the network. See your contact list, add a contact, of course, and get a call lock. Messages here, all the notifications the system will give you happen. Well, it will happen right here. All notices, all notifications, and other stuff. Uh, the visitor messages, if you got this function enabled and you got a devices installed outside, so visitors can let, uh, can leave the message can leave the messages to you. Uh, the capture lock, of course, if you got this function enabled too, you will get a screenshot whenever something happens, like a triggered event or stuff. 
a live view of course you can view a door stations and network cameras that are connected to the device and tied up within it uh, this button is it's not configured yet, but you can, I mean, set any action you want, like call your security company or uh, management center or other stuff. Uh, this will add the notifications, the Wi-Fi is not on, no SD card, no connection to any Hague Connect as this and other prison services. Now the settings, of course you get, you can pick a ringtone here, there are only three options, you can, well, configure the uh, well, sound, volume, volume, and you can turn the touch sound. This is really annoying, so I won't do this. And you know what I've noticed? It looks like the iOS. It isn't, how do you think? I mean, this toggles, even this sliders, it's the same as the iPhone and the iPad has. And the, well, and the everything. Come on, Hikvision. Uh, then I disturb devices, modes, two of it. Uh, of course, the Wi Fi. Now let's connect to the one that we have here. Our is people, and our password is people2018. And you know what? This looks like the iPad keyboard. God damn it, even this button. Everything looks like the iPad keyboard. Come on, Hikvision. This is too much. Now we're connected to, the, to our Wi Fi. Uh, here we got well, more uh, heat connect service settings. Of course, you need this thing. Believe me, it's a good thing. Uh, well, to uh, see your device remotely. PDF card, clear screen, device info, you can get everything here. Time, uh, manual reboot, password, system language, brightness adjustment, preferences, like the alarms and the call elevator that you can connect in here to remember. Uh, next thing we need this bot configuration. Of course, it asks uh, an admin password to enter, which is a three eights, three nights as a equation standard standard password because we didn't change it. Uh, now we got all the local informations, the room floors, uh, and also sync time. This is a really cool thing. Be sure to turn it on. <laughs> I didn't because I didn't need it right now. The network settings, of course. A device management like door phones, master stations, main door stations, and other stuff. The CIP protocol and the restore default settings buttons. And this is pretty much it. Now let's tie uh, this thing up with this thing and see what happens and how that the activation goes on. And now we're going for the activation, the connection, the tying up, the setting up. Doesn't matter, there's a lot of description for this type of, for this, for this part of video. So we're just going to activate this thing. This one is activated already. Uh, and then tie it up within themselves, within a subnet, so you can uh, arrange a call from here and it will be displayed in here. What you need, you need a software, you need a Hick Vision tools. And we regularly, before we used a CADP tool, uh, the Hick Vision software and the IBMS software, of course. But this time we got a new tool, it's called the Batch. Uh, Hick Vision just updated it and now we are able uh, to use both the IBMS functionality, both the CDP tool functionality in one tool. And I think this is much more comfortable, so I'm gonna use a batch. Uh, but anyways, you can use uh, like uh, any chain that you want, CDP plus IBMS or the batch. I'm gonna show you everything re um, related to this process right now. And also I've left all the related links for the CADP, IBMS and also the batch in the description down there, so don't hesitate to go there. Uh, this thing we need to activate right now through the software. Then we, this thing is activated right after you connect it to, to the power supply and to the network. We got the, uh, we got the POE switch here. So uh, the power is cons uh, transmitted over the, well, LEGN is the POE feature, you probably know that. But if you don't have the uh, POE switch, uh, plug in the power supply unit and uh, go into the Wi-Fi network settings. So this is activated already because it's activated right after you connect it to the power and the network. And now we are going to the PC. 
And now the PC settings. Told you before, we got the CADP, we got the IDMS, you can use it as a one option. And this time we got the upgrade batch configuration, so I'm gonna use it as this software allows us to use both the IVMS functionality, both the CADP in one tool, which is a perfect fit for me. So first thing we gotta do, check here and we add the monitor. Create a password. And now we got it added to our uh, subnet. Next thing we do, we should activate our call panel. So we check here pressing the activate, creating the password. Can be whatever you want. Okay. Activate it. And what we should do now, you see the IP address. It's wrong uh, with the, is there mm, different subnets for the monitor and the call panel. So what we do, we go into the edit network parameter settings and create a one subnet for both of them, but with different, with a, the different addresses. And a gateway will be, oh, it will be like one, one, like this. And here we are. Oh, of course, put the password again and then we have everything ready now add this thing again put in the password adding and now it's online it's online it's online now what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna add this into the monitor and add this into the call panel now let's go and do this check pressing the configuration button oh this one, this one, I meant this one. Go into the button. What we gotta do next? Intercom, IG configuration, and now we gotta pick the door phone type. Pressing the save, and now the device will reboot with the new parameters. And we are just right, waiting till that happens. Now, after the device rebooted, we go again into the configuration. And now we should see the role of the device. Device type is a door phone, meaning it's great. Everything's perfect. Next, we're gonna link it with our monitor. So what we do, you go in here and type in the monitor's IP address, which is 1.65 and save. And now it's tied up within our uh, video monitor. Closing. Next, we do configure this. Go into the configuration. Enter. Uh, oh, network linked network. In here, we can see the indoor station uh, is. Well, we're gonna only check this. It's automatically connected, and we're pretty much done. Now I'm gonna show you how this like, exactly looks from here. It should be, press the button, and here we have a call. Simple as it is, right? Down. The connection scheme allows us to use this intercom, this intercom device, in a variety of ways. The system you'll create can be such unique, perfectly fitting your unique needs, with this variety of possibilities, and that is great. Network cameras, outdoor uh, stations, call panels, alarm sensors, different extensions to be tied up with simultaneously. Here we have a solid, modern and reliable device that we can definitely recommend to everyone. We'll start selling these guys soon in a legal system store, so come over and specify that you got there from YouTube to get a special offer. Thank you for being with us today at this video. Yes, your safety is our main goal in medical systems.